Welcome to The Beating Heart, the epicenter of the most divided political and social discourse of our time, where we debate some serious topics, and it's also the final destination for your last brain cell. I'm Judge Josanna, and this is The Equation Room. Hi, bienvenido, ni hao, gesundheit. Welcome back to <laughs> The Equation Room. Today's topic, New Year's. There can only be one, Ikin Yum. Ik, you go first. December 31st, January 1st, tomato, tomato, who gives a fook? Quite frankly, it's like any other day. If we put pressure all in just one day, chances are you're not gonna stop texting your ex boyfriend. You're not going to um, just, uh, save all your money and stop spending on your Amex. You're not gonna do all these things. If you make up scenarios in your head of things you're gonna do starting on January 1st, you're not gonna do it. If we put so much pressure on one date that is so pathetic, every day should be New Year's Eve. Every day should be a New Year's Day because every day is a new day, bitch, not January fucking 1st. And also, who really cares? Created the calendar. Time is not linear. Time doesn't even exist. Nothing exists. You're fake. You're fake. I'm a hologram. Nothing's real. I'm having a panic attack. Thank you, Ek Yam. Take it away. Listen. I get it, time is a construct, things aren't real, but tell me why you don't want a reason to start anew. All of us need new energy breathed into our damn meaningless lives uh, and to have something to live for. Yeah. So if it is New Year's Day, it is New Year's Day. I want a reason to buy new gym clothes and go to the gym. Am I gonna keep going after three months? Maybe not, maybe I'll ghost my trainer. I'm sorry, Nate, I love you. Anyways, we all need a reason to party, to get together, to have a good time together. And I think New Year's is perfect to start new things, be a better person. Um, you actually were oh, okay. you said seconds. seconds? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so you did go five seconds over, which is a disrespect to the court. I feel like you definitely went over time. I didn't nobody actually. Was, nobody was timing. Yes, our producers were yes. actually. Thank you both for uh, both of your proceedings. This is an incredible meeting today. I'm really appreciative. I will have to say, I hate New Year's Eve. I think the year starts when it's my birthday because the world revolves around me. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I also recognize that we do have some neighbors here. And I honestly love Alicia's take on it, specifically the fact that energy could be breathed into me, which sounds very enticing and something that I would love to have happen to me on the 31st of December. So I'm gonna have to say, Yum wins. What? Yay, Thank start you. a new day. Yes, yes, this yes. is the equation yes. room. Let's yes. start a new. You actually think about it. You no, guys, what start the a new. Fuck? It's, there's something so beautiful. No, and also There's something so gorgeous about beauty and the world Are you talking over me? Construct. Shut up. Gajate. I won. Listen. I think there's something so beautiful that even if it's like arbitrary and ridiculous, that the whole world gets together and goes, we're starting anew. We're stepping into something together. Even if it isn't for very long. I'm not for the fads. I'm not for the ridiculous things that don't last a long time. I'm not for the fads. I'm not for the uh, <laughs> Alicia just said the F slur. No, I didn't. That, you do not cancel me. <laughs> F-A-D-S. Fads. Trends. Did you just say G or D? I'm, a, I'm And goodbye. that was our episode. Thank you for listening.